Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? Hoops and Homers here uh, on this dreary, early, um, low 40s day in Chicagoland area. It's super cold outside. Today was supposed to be a golfing day, and it is not a golfing day. It's a sit inside and look at cards day and do an update for the channel on what I picked up. I was on a hiatus from cards for a while there um, with Lent. Um, it was tough. It was very tough, and I broke down twice, and I'll show you why I broke down. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, I gave up cards for Lent. The criteria and the intent was uh, no eBay looking, no YouTube videos, uh, revolving sports cards, no Com C's, and don't look at my collection at all. Don't look at my collection. Success. Don't look at eBay. Fail. Mm. Don't look at any YouTube videos, success, and then um, no buying any cards. And the re and I was good up until opening day. I, FOMO. FOMO just took over, and um, yeah, I broke down. So I was good up until, let's say, the last three weeks, and I only did, like, I broke down on, I broke down on opening day. I made uh, some, some uh, card purchases, but um, yeah, that's my daughter. She's uh, hanging out. <laughs> Um, so this video, I have a small stack of cards I wanted to show off, um, what I picked up on opening day, what I picked up the day of the masters. And then lastly, I have, uh, let's see, one, two, four cards that I picked up, uh, prior to Lent that remind me of my children and, um, and, uh, I'm glad I have them in my collection. So further ado, let's go with, uh, what made me break. On opening day with the FOMO. First things first, couldn't get tickets to opening day for a Sox game, so we got the card of Hot Dogs and Onions. Just a great card. Thank you, Vintage Card Steve, for pointing this one out. Appreciate it. Uh, the great day that Ali Rushman had. Um, his cards are like, man. His gold rookie is so expensive right now. Um, I'm waiting for those prices to come down. I definitely want to pick one up of his. Here's also his Topps Living card. Brian Reynolds, what a hot start he had it along with, along with uh, Matt Chapman. Um, I was actually watching the Red Sox game versus the Pirates when he went off. So I picked up his um, updated um, gold rookie. Is that 2019? And then the rookie stud for the White Sox, Oscar Colas. Um, I picked up his Sapphire um, Bowman first. He's playing right field now. And that's where my boy Gavin Sheets would used to play. So now Gavin Sheets is kind of moving around all over the place. Um, and I'm okay. Hopefully this kid um, stays the course and uh, becomes a young stud. And I just wanted to add him to the White Sox PC. All right, when, when else did I break? I broke during the Masters, which was fantastic to watch. Um, and my local, no, not local, they're about an hour away, but it used to be local to me when I was uh, with the Marines. Um, it's right by my Great Lakes. If you know the Great Lakes area, there's a great card shop up there. They have an eBay store, and um, they had an in-person signing of Jim Nance, obviously the voice of... Um, uh, the Masters, a tradition unlike any other. So here's his Allen and Ginter. And this was uh, on card in the store. I'm going to get this graded eventually. But um, I'm just really happy to have his uh, auto in my golf cart collection. Which will be coming up, showing it off. I wanted to show it off for the Masters, but um, obviously I gave up cards. So US Open this year. I'm going to, that weekend, I'm going to show off uh, my golf cart collection. And then lastly, the cards that remind me of my children. I've got two here to remind me of my youngest. Um, with all the excitement of the Ahsoka show coming out and the Mandalorian. And hopefully seeing Ezra Richard, if you're a fan of Star Wars Rebels. Um, I picked up two of his autographs of the actor that plays him. So this is an Aztec card um, of Ezra pre-Jedi training. You can tell by the long hair. Nice ST card, uh, on card auto, Star Wars Rebels, and then this is Star Wars Master Masterworks, and this is when he started his Jedi training with Kane, Kanan, 
and cut his hair down by the short hair and also another art car, on card auto. Also, Star Wars Celebration happened and I was um, glad to watch some of that on YouTube. This uh, reminds me of my, oh, let's continue on with the youngest. Her all time favorite movie of all time <laughs> is Peter Pan. All versions of Peter Pan. Pan, Wendy and um, Peter show, uh, Jake and the Neverland Pirates, all that. She loves everything encompassing Peter Pan. So, what better way to remind me of her um, is to pick up a, a 1924 Milhoff and Company, Sir James Bar Barry, a man of genius, and he is the author of uh, Peter Pan, the novel. Old tobacco card. Just a nice little unique thing to add to the collection, uh, non-sports related. Pretty cool. Tobacco card, 1924. And then lastly, this reminds me of my daughter. Uh, we actually watched a little bit of the um, the World Baseball Classic, um, the showdown with Otani and Trout. She is a fan of both of those, but more Otani these days. So I picked this one up. I couldn't pass it up. It was a 2021 Stadium Club Chrome in a CSG 10. Um, just the look on his face and the passion that he shows says it all. This glare is terrible. I need to get a new setup. Any suggestions on a setup for non-glare, um, please leave a comment below. I appreciate it. But yeah, nice and sweet. Uh, my next video is going to be a VR from Mr. Fisher Bike. I thought he came up with a very interesting idea of what makes you stop and watch a video and um, why do you collect. So that's going to be my next video. I uh, appreciate you all tuning in. Uh, stay safe. If you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment if you got some, something to say about these cards. And I'll see you all soon. Later.